Okay, so what I want to show here is this. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to show you first. This is a really quickly made terrain. And here's the flying box. This is what we're going to make in the next five or ten minutes. So we're in the Unity game engine right now. And uh, I've just created a box inside the engine. And I've attached a hover script to it. And I'll show you where I got that. And uh, how you can adjust it. And then you can take this and use it to, um, instead of using a box, you can use your own vehicle that you make in 3D Studio or Maya or Blender or whatever you use. So let's go ahead and stop the game here and create something from scratch, which is the way I like to work, so that you can see everything. So I'm going to say File, New Project from the very beginning. And let's just say um, all that we need, I might use particles later physics. I'm not sure if I need that or not. I'll take scripts. So I have to answer these questions. Um, terrain assets I'll take. And that's about it. Now hit create. And we need a place to work as well. So I'm going to pick a place. Let's go to a new folder called Flying Box 3. in. Okay, so we'll create. Okay, so Unity has finished loading. We're in a, basically a blank session here. And I'm going to show you my uh, Explorer. And in my Explorer, this is the folder I made, Flying Box 3. Let's go inside it. There's an Assets folder. All this stuff was created when we made a new project. So I'm going to go inside the Assets folder. And you can see I've placed a file in there called Hover150CJS for JavaScript. And this is something that I got um, through one of the... Uh, someone had been working on this on... Um, let me just get out of here for a second. So this is where I found this, just to be... just to give credit where credit is due. This is on the Unify community, or the Unity community. And uh, a lot of good stuff here. And uh, I found one that didn't really work, but it was close. So I made some modifications on it. So the one that I just showed you, um, and you can search on hover underscore 150 to find it, didn't quite work, but I changed it to hover 150C, and that's the one I'm going to be demoing today. Okay, so that's what you need to make this thing work. What you also need, well, all we've got is a camera right now. What we need is a... Uh, Game object, we'll go to game object, create other, and we'll say we want a cube or a box. And I'm going to make this cube a little bit bigger so we can see it easier. Now this could be a model too that you bring in from another package. Now this also needs a physics component, physics rigid body. We want to add a rigid body to that. Since it's selected, when I went to the component physics rigid body, it adds that to this inspector, to the, to the properties of this cube. You can see there's the rigid body, right? Um, some other things I need. Let's see. I need lights. So let's go to component, nope, game object, create other, and directional light. Um, also, terrain. We're going to go to terrain, create terrain. We can kind of see that terrain. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's see. If we go here, we can see it from the top, and I can zoom out from the top. In fact, if we click on it over here and select it, then come out here and hover and hit F, it should zoom that terrain and see how I can zoom in and zoom out by spinning my mouse wheel. Now I'm going to right-click with the right mouse button and change my perspective of the terrain a little bit so I can see it better. And uh, since I've got the terrain selected, I can go to this first button right here on this little toolbar for the terrain and I can start sculpting it a little bit. I'm not thrilled with the lighting but it'll, it'll sure work for what we're doing today. So these are some little mountain ranges, you know, just making a terrain to fly over since this is a hover script, right? And using different brushes you can do some all kinds of interesting things. I won't get too carried away here. Just something we can fly over. 
and we're going to need some color to really get the sense of this as well. So let's uh, let's add some color. Um, if I can remember where. If I think I've hit this brush tool. No. Then we got edit texture. Yeah. Edit textures. I'm going to click that. I'm going to hit add texture. I'm going to go to texture here on the left and hit select. And I'm going to pick cliff and double click it and it populates and I'm going to hit add. And I'm going to grab some other stuff as well. I'm going to go to edit texture, add texture, select. Let's pick um, good dirt and add. And let's try painting with good dirt. I'm going to select it and use a different brush. So there's my dirt all along the base here, or it could be up here actually. That might be good. This is not a terrain tutorial, but we just kind of need it to uh, make this work. So sorry how bad this is. Edit textures. Let's add another texture. We just need one more little thing, I think. How about grass? Add that, and we'll put in some grass here. Whoops. Got to select it, and then we can paint it. And maybe with something a little bit better. Okay, I know that's a horrible um, terrain, but I don't want to spend too much time on this. I want to get into the getting the box to fly. So let's say that's good enough. Um, one thing we're going to have to do is take this cube and put the main camera as a child of that cube. So let's just drag the main camera underneath the cube. So now if we open up the cube, you see it has the main camera following behind it. Now I want to go to, let's say, the top view and make sure that the camera is close to the box. So I'm just going to drag this. And I kind of forgot where the box was cube okay I can see it so I'm just gonna get a little closer to that little white dot and uh, I also need to look at it from the side view the side view let's go here that'll work and we get a little closer and look for our cube there it is so we're gonna take our camera up to our cube Okay. Just zooming in with my mouse wheel now so I can get those two lined up. And I want to rotate. I'm using the rotate tool now. Rotate the camera a little bit so we're looking down on the cube and get a little closer to it. And uh, we need to look from our top view again. And I probably need to click on camera and hit F so I can zoom in right on the camera instead of Where's our cube? And we've lost our cube. If I go to cube and hit, whoa, they got, they're pretty far away. Let's just uh, move the camera again. There we go. Now we can see the cube in the preview. Okay, it looks pretty decent. That's good enough for what we need to do. Um, let's also take this cube and select it and zoom in on it a little bit. And I'm going to take the uh, hover script and drag it right onto the cube. And you'll see that if we select the cube now, if we did this right, which we didn't, let's do it again. Hover script, drag it right onto the cube. There we go. I guess I slipped. So there's rigid body, there's the hover script. It's all, all this stuff is connected to the cube. The lights are on. Um, now I just want to go ahead and play it and see if we're even close. Okay, we seems like we got something that's falling and has a little bit of uh, hover to it, but maybe not enough. Now I can use my arrow keys, 
and turn, but not a whole lot else. So let's stop it and let's make some adjustments. And we're way up high too. So I think I want to start lower down than that. So I'm going to go ahead and move the cube down. And we're going to make some changes on mass. Um, one is, that's one. Let's make the drag. This is a big one. I'm going to say 0.5. If you don't have a lot of, a fair amount of drag, this hover script doesn't work so well. Angular drag, 0.5, that's fine. We'll leave the rest of that alone. Um, I think I'm going to save this. And play it again and we'll see how it's doing. Okay, there's still some issues. Um, in the uh, settings for hover script, I'm going to change the um, length, the height, it's okay, springiness, I'm going to say it's 0.5. Uh, damping, um, I'll say it's 0.2. Um, we never set the ground, I knew I was forgetting something. You see the ground here? I'm going to click this on the right and say it should be terrain. And that should be enough. And now we'll play, play it. Yeah, I'm not even sure if we needed to do some of that other stuff because it should be set in the script. So what we have now is a flying box or a hovering box. But a flying box is a little bit easier to understand. So that's why I called it flying box. And the terrain, when you're down this close, it doesn't actually look that bad because the textures are pretty nice and the, uh, the mesh displacement's beautiful in Unity. So that's how you do a flying box in Unity. You don't even need any assets. But if you did have assets, there's two ways to bring those in. And I'm going to do a future tutorial on that. Um, yeah, so that's it. Oh, to find this um, script, let's see, here's where you can get it. If I'm on, uh, if you go to 3dcognition.com and you click on Tutorials and you go to Unity or Unity right here and Unity Flying Box and there's the, this will be the YouTube that will be filled in there and then there's the script and that should work right out of the box. Um, great.